My name is Ernie Bustamante, and this is the news. <laughs> Fall semester is here. That's right. Good news, schools are open. <laughs> Bad news, schools are open. <laughs> That's right. Already over 2,000 students across seven states are currently quarantined because of positive coronavirus cases. That's right. But resourceful teachers are now using these students as human lab rats. <laughs> Don't worry, the students are receiving extra credit. In space news, NASA is now removing racially offensive terms from space. That's right. So the Eskimo Nebula in the Siamese Twins Galaxy will now be renamed. No word yet as to what will become of the black hole. Have we gone too far, though? I mean, regulating racism in space? After all, aren't we one race? <laughs> the human race? <laughs> Yeah, right. Try telling that to E.T. Because <laughs> the last thing I need is some alien invading our planet, stealing my brain, and then walking around acting like they're better than me because they have green skin. <laughs> green supremacy. I don't need it. <laughs> I bet you these aliens, I bet you they don't even speak English. Stay on your own planet, E.T. Former Arizona Sheriff Joe Arpaio recently lost his primary election to regain his old seat. That means for the second time now, Arizona voters have rejected Joe Arpaio. His next plan is to show up at your apartment without calling and try to convince you that he has changed. President Vladimir Putin announced that Russia has created the first coronavirus vaccine. <laughs> this is great, this is great news. We don't have to do this anymore. I personally, whew, I feel so much better because when I think of Russia, the first thing I think is vaccines. <laughs> and then uh, vodka. <laughs> and then those uh, Russian dolls that go inside each other. And uh, corruption. And also there was that giant nuclear power plant explosion. They were also a banned from the Olympics for doping. But first, I definitely think vaccines first. Yeah. In AOC news, Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez has been announced as a speaker at the Democratic National Convention. Unfortunately, she's only been given one minute of speaking time. But in Puerto Rican time, that's like 10 minutes. Joe Biden has selected Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris. Kamala. Kama. Kama. Like Kama, like the punctuation. Kama. Look. Kama, 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 Don't call her that. You know, already, as a black female candidate, Kamala, Kamala, Kamala Harris is already dealing with racist and sexist stereotypes. They're calling her mean, they're calling her nasty. You know, though I fully expect Kamala to uh, throw water in Trump's face, snatch off his wig and call him a dirty hoe. Full disclosure, I was rooting for Kamala Harris since the primary, back when I didn't know how to pronounce her name correctly. But I was so excited when she got picked for VP and uh, I was just watching an interview with her and they asked Kamala Harris, they asked her, who would you want to play you in a movie about your life? And she said, Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> so we're also going to have the first blind vice president. I don't understand the criticism that Kamala Harris gets from the left or the right. You know, because before she got picked as VP, she was proposing with Bernie Sanders to give Americans $2,000 for the rest of the pandemic. That's right. And then she was proposing to arrest Bernie Sanders. Yeah. You know what? If someone harmed me, I would want Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris to arrest and prosecute that person. And then I would want Hillary Clinton to execute that.